All right, so let's get started on the MP together. Um, so the, the biggest portion of your work today and early this week as you're getting started on the MP is probably going to be just getting things installed. And so I don't want you to get to this video and think, oh, this is the first thing we're doing. No, 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 the, the first thing you, you should be doing is working through these instructions. So uh, these instructions are specific to your machine. And so we don't try to record too many tutorials about this because there are great instructions online too. The Android setup instructions are excellent. Um, you know, Android is a platform that is incredibly widespread. Um, you know, here in the United States, iOS devices are also pretty common, but here's the thing, they're super expensive. And so when you look worldwide, Android is by far the dominant smartphone platform across the entire globe, particularly in areas where people can't or don't want to afford uh, pricey Apple, Apple devices. Um, and so you're ready, right? Kotlin is an officially supported language for Android development and actually is the next language, the new language for Android development. You also see a lot of the Android tutorials now are sort of Kotlin first. Um, which is super exciting. Um, and you'll see why, because Kotlin works really beautifully as a language to use for uh, MP development. Um, sorry, uh, app development. So um, all to say that you can install Android Studio. I, I believe you can, right? There are great instructions. There's millions of people all over the world that have figured out how to do this. We will help, uh, but you can do it. And in the past, this has not been a, a, a big deal for students. There's some stumbling blocks and we'll get you past them, but go through these instructions carefully. When you get stuck, ask for help. This is not a part of the course where we're concerned with plagiarism. You can't cheat installing Android Studio. So ask for help, help you know other people that you know on the forum. We'll be there on the help site to walk you through things. There are usually some places where people tend to get stuck with little weird things and, and we'll be there to help, right? We've seen a lot of these problems before. Uh, we tend to forget about them and then remember them again every semester, but uh, we'll, we'll get you there, right? We will get you to the point where you have Android Studio installed and ready to rock on your machine. Um, this is also a great place to collaborate. So if you're choosing to collab if you're choosing to collaborate on the MP, which is an option this uh, this year, um, you can work with a partner through this step. And this can be a good place to do that because you know uh, you'll have someone to help you when you get stuck. One thing I want to emphasize though is that both of you have to submit all of your work independently. So you can talk about the MP, you can share code, but you both need to submit independently to get credit. Okay, so we're going to go through these instructions. Once you've done that, once you have Android Studio installed and then installed Git as well, and installed the plugins that we have links to and things like that, then you're ready to go. And the next step is to get access to the actual MP source code. So that's what I'm gonna walk you through. Um, all right, so you need a GitHub account for this. The GitHub account does not have to be associated with your Illinois email address. It can be associated with, with any email address. You need, do need a GitHub account. I've already got one. If I click here, it's gonna take you to my profile page. Um, if you don't have one, create one. It's free, it's easy to sign up. Um, this is on github.com, by the way. The university has some you know, private GitHub systems that we don't use. We use the official github.com that supports a tool called GitHub Classroom that we're gonna use in just a sec. All right, so the next thing, once you have a GitHub account, uh, you have Android Studio installed, Git installed, you're ready to, to accept our assignment. So you're gonna click on this. Now this is gonna look a little bit different for you than it is for me. So I've already been uh, experimenting with things, trying to make sure things are working and ready to go. Um, so what I did is I deleted my old repository, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hit re-accept. This is the screen that you should end up on. Um, now, the, this is the Kotlin version of the MP. There, there is a Java version as well. You're welcome to do both. Uh, you're not gonna get more credit for doing both. Um, I, suspect, I suggest that you work in your primary language on the MP. Um, but this is the Kotlin version, super exciting. It's the first time we've done this. I'm super pumped about this, by the way. It's so, uh, it, writing, uh, and writing Android code in Kotlin is, is, is fun. Um, all right, so uh, I'm gonna accept this assignment. Now, one thing to note about this, you do have, you have to read the instructions. It says, uh, we're configuring the repository now, refresh the page to see updates. So this won't refresh on its own. You do have to kind of hit refresh. And now you'll see that my repository has been created. I'm gonna click on this and here here we are so this is my copy of uh the the uh fall 2021 uh cs124 mp uh, uh kotlin starter code um in the next video what we're going to do is we'll, we'll pick up here and we'll get you to the point where you actually have this code imported into android studio on your machine 
um, the some of the initial sort of teething uh, processes have finished um, and we're ready to actually run the grader and, and get started on on exploring the source code which is something that we'll really do mostly tomorrow today our goal is get you installed right get android studio set up get it set up you know get access to the source code be able to run the grader get your id in the right place we'll cover some of those things uh in the next video